Hey there, I'm going to show you how you can set up some recipe metadata on a blog post on Shopify. So for this one, I'm actually using Shopify FD. Um, it's just a, a meta fill tool. So you can use whatever you want. This is just what I'm what I'm using. The end result of all this is the data goes to the same place, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, so you can see I got a simple blog post here, uh, kale salad, uh, some ingredients, prep time, calories, instructions, you know, basic recipe stuff. Um, if I scroll down a little bit, there's this box here called Metafields that's brought in by that Shopify FD. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the name of it. Um, so instead of saying kale salad, I'm going to call it Eric's kale salad. So for Jason LD, we have to put it in a specific namespace, Jason LD. Um, to change the name, the key we're going to use is name. And the value we're going to use is we'll put Eric's kale salad. And then we'll hit save right here. And at the bottom says Metafield save. I like to always double check and hit the save button down there. And you can put in multiple metadata or metafields at once. Um, I'm just doing the one here just to show you. There's that this recipe actually has you know maybe half a dozen of them already set up on it. So that's in there. You know the actual recipe it looks normal. Here's it on my store. You know nothing out of the ordinary. Using Google's structured data tool. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the URL for this recipe and Google will actually download the page, run some analysis on it and show us all of the different meta fields or sorry, the, the different, uh, metadata it finds. Um, there's a couple in here of warnings and errors. We're going to ignore those for now. Um, this is the test store. So we see here a recipe is detected. We'll click that and we'll see in here. It's a recipe. I use the food category. Uh, total time is five minutes. We have two, the two ingredients, bunch of kale, dressing of your choice. Uh, here's the instructions, wash kale, dry, chop, serve. Here's name. And see how it says Eric's kale salad, the same thing we just updated. Um, there's you know nutrition information, author, image, a whole bunch of other stuff in here. Um, so this basically shows how you can, in the blog post admin panel for Shopify, set up different um, meta fields that then Jason LD can take and show up to Google or Yahoo or Bing. And all of this will end up in your actual rich, uh, your rich snippets in search results, you know, after a period of time. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Um, and I have all of the, all the different field names and what to put in each one in the knowledge base. So you can check that out in there. Uh, this is just to show you the process itself. All right. Thanks.